We're back. What started as a dream campaign of a confident 66-year-old black conservative businessman bucking the establishment ended in a nightmare of sexual harassment allegations and charges of long-term infidelity. Herman Cain has suspended his presidential campaign, but not his desire to be heard. So as of today, with a lot of prayer and soul searching, I am suspending my presidential campaign. Mr. Kane, are you relieved to have your life back? In many ways, yes, Barbara. I've prepared for much of the things that I had to do, but it was the vicious, unrelenting character assassination that finally caused too much pain to my wife, my family, and me. Do you think that in this campaign you have been treated fairly? I believe that in the court of public opinion, I have not been treated fairly because the accusations were false, but they continued to be spun as if they were true and they are not true. Do you think any of this had to do with the fact that you were black? Yes, because I happen to believe that the Democrats did not want an accomplished, articulate, optimistic black man to face President Obama. I can't prove that, Barbara, but I do believe that. Four women accused you of sexual harassment. One woman said you had an affair for 13 years. What do you say to people who say, where there's smoke, there's fire? What I say to people is, not in this case. <laughs> but if you were innocent, why suspend your campaign? Because of the pain that it was causing my wife and my family and me every time it is brought up in the media over and over and over. They were not going to stop. Did your wife want you to suspend your candidacy? No. She would never do that. My wife and I have been married for 43 years. She shared with me how she felt. It was very painful. She believes me. And so I'm at peace with her. She's at peace with me. But you were innocent of all the charges? Yes. Yes. Do you think that any of the candidates might choose you as a running mate? I honestly don't think that they would mm -hmm. because then the spin of the spin would start all over again. Uh -huh. What kind of cabinet position might you like if it were possible? We are speaking totally, totally hypothetical, yeah. right? Totally, okay. totally hypothetical. Right. Uh, Department of Defense. What? Yes. Not Treasury? I mean, you're the 999 man. No. I'm the Department 999 guy. Of Defense. Uh, Why Department of Defense? Because if I could influence rebuilding our military the way it should be, that would be a task I would consider undertaking. If you were Secretary of Defense, it would be important to be familiar with the various countries around the world, and you yes. have had some difficulty with that, Mr. Kane. Yes, but I have been doing my homework ever since that difficulty. Tell me, when you were a little boy, did you think someday I may be president? Not in my wildest dreams. <laughs> I grew up in the segregated water fountain south. My mo mother was a maid, my dad was a chauffeur. I climbed the corporate ladder in corporate America against the odds. And one of the reasons that I made the decision to run for president was the fact that I am the American dream. You have a great singing voice. Yes. Yes. Um, why don't we end this interview on a very happy note? Would you sing a little something for me? Only because it's you. I won't do this for anybody. I'm deeply moved. And I never miss an opportunity to express my faith. Are you ready? Yeah. Amazing grace will always be my song of praise. For it was grace that brought me liberty. I'll never know why Jesus came to love me so. 
He looked beyond all my faults and saw my needs. Merry Christmas, Barbara. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kane.